Welcome traders. In this video, I want to go over how you set up the instrument manager for properly loading the VIX template. And I'm placing detailed step-by-step -step instructions here under the trading strategy for the VIX Bloodhound template. And this video will be here also. But it's pretty easy to do, but I wanted to have a video that does it step-by-step. So we come to the control panel here and under tools, we want to click instruments. Now, once we have instruments here, we want to click the add button and it'll bring up this page right here. Now we only have to change four things here and the four things we have to name it, what is the master instrument and the only instrument we need to add is the VIX 9D. So we type in here VIX 9D for the master instrument. And then for the instrument type, we click the drop down and we go to index. And next we have to choose the exchange. And the exchange we want is the CBOE right here, the Chicago Board of Options Exchange. We click that and say OK. And then the last thing we need to do is we just need to tell Kinetic where to find it. So what we want to type in is VIX9D period XO. And that's a O as an ocean, not a zero. When you're done with that, all you do is say OK. And that instrument has now been created. We come back to this screen, we can go ahead and close it out. And then we have one quick other thing we need to do is we need to have an instrument list. So in order to have an instrument list, on the left side, you just click add and you name it whatever you'd like to name it. Instrument list one, which is defaulted is fine. And then from instrument list one, over on the right side where it says instruments, click add and now type in your VIX 9D and say OK. And now you should see the VIX 9D in your instrument list one. And you know you have it right if you have the caret symbol up at the top. If you type this in and as you saw me do right here, and something says a stock, well, then you know you've got it wrong because the VIX should only be showing either the VIX itself, which is defaulted in the CBOE instrument list under indexes, or it is the VIX 9D, which you've added here. They should both be saying indexes. That's what you want to add. If you tried to add VIX as a stock, it's not going to come up. It's going to result in an error in the template. Now you might have seen when I popped this up uh, initially that I had the SPY and the VXX in here. Those aren't necessary. Just something that I did when I first had to figure out how to do this. But only thing that is necessary is the caret VIX 9D. All the other indexes are listed here and along with the regular VIX and the dollar sign tick. So once you have all that, you're fine. Now the next thing you need to understand is that in order to use the VIX template, you're going to need Kinetic. And Kinetic is for the $65 for the basic service currently. And there are three things that you need here. And two, you sign up for in the Kinetic website. You go to help. And if you were starting a service, those two indexes, the CBOE indexes and the NYSE non-pro exchange fee, which are both $7, are check boxes for services that you would like. The next thing you need to do is come back to the help page once you have Establish service with Kinetic and come down to here where it says Globex non-pro fees. Click that, fill that out, 
and the Globex non-pro fee that you want is $5 for all four level one Globex. Now, I realize you're gonna be asking yourself, wait, I get this information from Continuum. And yes, that is correct. There's a very important note here on the web page, and that is when first connecting your data feeds, you must connect Kinetic first and then connect Continuum. That is the reason we need this $5 fee here. Do not connect Continuum first. You're going to end up getting errors. The other most common problem that I see is that I give people the Zone Trader Pro VIX file and I give them a template for this chart right here. Now, I've just changed what I've done because of this, because what is happening is when I give somebody a chart template, it is pointing to the location on my computer where this sits, which is under users trading documents. Now you're not gonna have that same path in your computer. So you're gonna put the Bloodhound file in the Bloodhound folder found under Ninja Trader 8 templates Bloodhound and you're going to find it right here. So we would go and we would double click on it and that would bring up this and then close the open box and what we need to do then is we need to do a control F5 <clears throat> which will load the software. Now once the software is loaded we're going to need to come and choose which of the templates we want to use. So my preference once the day has been opened is to use the 9DV4. Once you've chosen it, again, we need to do an F5 and reload it. So now I have the correct template that I want to be using with this chart. Now the main differences between these templates are that some of them use the VIX and some of them use the VIX 9D. So what's the difference you ask? The main difference is that once the trading day has started, I like to use the 9D. However, when we have a gap up in the VIX or the VIX 9D, my preference is to use the VIX V2 right here, and I'll show you why. Here are two, here are the two charts, both five minute charts, and here's the open on October 21st. And you can see there wasn't much of a gap from the open on the VIX 9D, and there's basically no gap here on the VIX. But here on October 22nd, we see a tremendously large gap up in the VIX 9D with a, not the same corresponding gap up in the VIX. Okay, what are some of the reasons that this could happen? My guess is that the VIX 9D represents options expiring within the next nine days. So it's entirely possible that at the open here on the 22nd, there were options that had expired thus changing the calculation on the 9D, giving us this big gap up from 23.18 all the way to 24.89. Now that is instantly gonna be read as a negative trend and you're gonna get the, basically get the wrong signals. Here we have the gap higher, which immediately on the VIX begins selling down, which would be a bullish signal rather than a bearish one that we would have gotten from the VIX 9D. So that's why you have both. And what I do personally is I have both charts and I minimize them and I use the always on top feature here so that I can just store them on a chart like this that I don't need to reference the whole chart for and take a look and see what this is telling me in real time. 
I want to thank you for watching. And if you chat have any questions or having problems with any of the setup, please let me know. Thanks. Have a good day.